Good morning. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about a Jean-Pierre de Cossade. Now, this is the most interesting story because so little is known about him. He was a priest in France. Uh, I think I have a date uh, born, but I don't recall it. Oh, it's 1675. He lived till 1751. Now, he is a priest. He had a whole bunch of obscure assignments. But one of them was to be um, a spiritual director says, to some nuns in a city called Nancy in France. Um, and to them, he gave a series of lectures and, and uh, conferences, and these were recorded. Uh, They're called The Abandonment to Divine Providence. Now, he, he gave this series of lectures, and the basic of it is, listen to this. This is a quote right on the top. It says, Every moment we live the, through is like an ambassador who declares the will of God. His uh, approach is that in the moment, in the now moment, is our encounter with God. So when we accept like the things that we have to do, not the, not, now this is not the holy things, this is anything, anything that we have to do. Now when we face the things we can avoid, and endure with love and resignation, which, which we call as weariness and disgust, we are following a path to sanctification. Imagine that. In other words, if I've got a, like before I did this, I did the dishes. I cleaned up the Mary Jane's out on a walk, and I emptied the dishwasher, and I washed up the dishes. Now, in that task, which is not fun, in that moment, and in this moment, as I'm talking to you, in every moment we have, he describes it almost as like a sacrament. And he says, um, it's really a great, it's the present moment. That's the key thing. It's not, oh, what I did before or what I'm going to do. It's in this present moment that we experience him. And he says, just as Christ in the Eucharist is visible to the eyes of faith under the aspect of bread, so too to the faithful Christian, it should be evident that God's will is truly present. Though disguised in what otherwise might be dismissed as ordinary and every day. And I do this almost every day. And you do certain things every day. And it's the things we're doing now that's actually our encounter with God. And to think of that, that God's present in these everyday, regular, regular, relatively boring, but have to be done type things, well, that it brings us closer to realizing how we are in an encounter with our God. Now, what's fascinating about Jean-Pierre de Cossin is they studied it. You know, his, he wrote these notes and he made this presentation slowly, and then it was a hundred years before it's actually printed. And there were some things in the church where they're against a thing called quietism, but basically they were overly concerned with too much contemplation. But anyway, um, his, his documents are released about 100 years later, and people realize, oh boy, this is really something. So it gets translated into a lot of languages, and this abandonment to the divine providence becomes a very popular book. What's interesting is the ones who have really studied it aren't really sure that Jean-Pierre at all is the author. They're not sure who the author is. Now, granted, this was printed 100 years after the fact, so things could have gotten out. And they say they don't know who he or she is. And yet, the concept to abandon ourselves to the will of God, not in running off to far off places or giving away all the things that we might have or walking away from our life, but being in our life, being in the moment of doing the things we need to do, or are told to do or have to do or whatever we do, that in that moment of doing that action, we are showing the will of God. Whoa. Hold on to that today. Give that some thought. And I, for my part, well, I've ordered the book, Abandonment to Divine Providence. Have a good day.